Hi everybody, Adrian here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression on the new Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette that I picked up at Ulta. I paid $46 for this palette. Um, the packaging is just gorgeous on this. It did come in a box that looks exactly like the outer packaging. And also a handout here. I'm going to set the palette down. Handout looks like this. It gives um, some suggested ideas for some different looks. I don't know if you guys can see the looks up top. There's a little bit of glare coming off the light, but some suggestions here and more on the back. And the palette, I'm going to go ahead and open it and give you a peek. It's got that protective film that's over the top of the shade so your mirror doesn't get filthy. I like those and I actually hang on to them even though they're a pain in the butt. The palette looks like this, and as you can see, it is gorgeous on the inside. Sorry about the glare, but I wanted you guys to see that huge mirror. But the colors here are just beautiful. And the reason why initially I bought this palette was for this color here. I wanted it for contouring. When I was at Ulta, I was looking for contouring products, and I was going to buy the Too Faced contouring palette in dark, but um, they don't have that anymore in my Ulta store. It's only on the Too Faced website. So as I was walking away to pick up some Tarte mascara, I saw this palette and fell in love with this color. And I swatched the entire palette right there on the back of my hand and thought the colors were beautiful so I went ahead and bought it but I was a little bit leery about it because I've had I think it was the first Tarte palette before that I had to return it was an all matte palette I do love matte palettes uh, they used to be the only thing I would wear but when I got I think it was called the Embloom palette I'm not sure but all those colors ran together and muddied on my eyes and they didn't look good at all so I was a little worried to get this palette but um I love matte, so I had to pick it up and give Tarte another shot. And as I'm sitting here, I can smell the palette right now, and it smells so good. It smells like a mixture of vanilla and cocoa. It's really sweet smelling. It's not overpowering, but you definitely notice that there's a fragrance there. I am going to go ahead and cover the mirror so it's not blinding you. I do love matte shades. That's why I had to buy this palette. Put some swatches out to the side so you guys can see. These are very pigmented shadows. I did record how I created this eye look that I'm wearing today. It is this palette. It is these colors right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that.
Now that I've put on lashes, liner, and a little bit of mascara and refined the rest of this eye look, I am going to go in with this color here and go ahead and contour my face with this e.l.f. angled blush brush. I'm going to start at the bottom of the jawline just to see what it's going to look like. Oh, it's very pigmented. I had a little dust flying away, but it's blending beautifully. And like I said, this is the shade that made me buy the entire palette to begin with. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I am a little nervous about this brush, keeping it controlled. I'm going to try to pinch it here as I get it right in here. Don't know that I'm going to care for this as a bronzer. It's not doing too bad. But I definitely got a little overkill spot, but I don't know that that's overkill as it is so much uh, my foundation. I didn't use a color corrector underneath and my foundation is not covering um, that entire dark spot. The foundation that I am wearing is the Tarte Amazonian Clay and I have a review for this foundation. Um, we'll link it right above so you can click on that and watch it and get my thoughts on that. But um, this is the final look with the contouring done. I don't think I want to add this to my forehead even though it looks a little reddish brown in the palette, um, it's a pretty dark contour. I don't think it looks bad at all. Looking at it underneath the chin and the jawline, it seems to be blending in pretty well. I'm looking at my mirror, looking down at it, and I'm going to continue to blend it a little bit. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and put on some lipstick. I was given this lipstick. When I went and purchased this palette, I was given this Tarte Lip Sculptor lipstick that has the lip gloss on the bottom in the color Sangria at Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush and line my lips and pop that lip color on and I'll be right back. Okay, for my final thoughts on this palette. The colors applied nice and smooth. They were very pigmented, went on easy. They blended easy. I really enjoyed working with the palette. Um, one complaint I do have, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got quite a bit of creasing right in here. And as I was finishing the rest of my face, I have gone in and added to that two or three more times and I'm still creasing. For uh, eye primer, I used a concealer and then I put a setting powder over the top of it before I put the product on. So the concealer I used was pretty dry. Um, so I'm not sure why I have so much creasing, but sometimes that does happen to me. I didn't use a specific concealer. A lot of times I like the Lorac concealer and use that on a daily basis so I'll have to try that the next time I use the palette and let you guys know what I thought of it but overall I really did enjoy that particular look that I created with the palette I haven't had a chance to play with the other two sections of it I'll have to give you an update on that at some point but I really wanted to do my first impression on camera for you guys is the first time I ever worked with this palette or swatched it outside of the store um, I am so happy that I did find a Tarte eyeshadow palette that I liked because I like the brand and I was really hoping I'd be able to wear some of their products. So after seeing how this particular eyeshadow applied, I will probably purchase more Tarte eyeshadow palettes and give them a try because I haven't tried any of their metallic shades. Um, do I think this is a palette that is completely necessary for you to have? Uh, depends on how much you like mattes and how much you're wearing mattes on a daily basis. $46 is a little on the pricier side for a palette if you're just going to let it sit. But for a contouring palette, I do think it's awesome. I really do like the contour that it created uh, on my jawline and my cheeks. I think that worked out really well. It contours, but it doesn't look like dark and muddy, so it looks really good on my skin tone. I got what I wanted out of that, that little bit of reddish brown brown in it. Um, if I had it to do all over again, would I buy the palette again? Probably yes, because I really like that contouring shade. And so far as what I've seen from working with the, that first look, the colors go on really easily and I don't have to keep applying a lot to get them to build up and blend. So uh, overall, I have to say first impression wise, I'm really happy with the palette and I will keep you guys updated on the palette. and. 
um, given some shout outs to this lipstick here, this lip sculpting lipstick. I didn't use the gloss at all. I'm not really a glossy girl. And this is not a matte, it's a regular lipstick and I am liking the wear a lot. Actually, I've gotten up and I've gone and eaten dinner and I'm filming my final thoughts on this two hours after I finished putting all this on and this lip product still looks like this and it hasn't smudged or moved and I took a couple drinks out of a water bottle and my lipstick still looks great and um, overall like I said I really did enjoy working with this palette and I can't wait to keep you guys updated on my final thoughts on the palette after a few months of getting a chance to play with it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe you also want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so um, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video thank you for watching and have a great day